Hi, everyone. I'm Hannah. I'm so thankful for this opportunity just to be able to speak the word of God in my favorite church. So I'm going to be starting off in Philippians 2, the second half of verse 13 or verse 12. And this says, work hard to show the results of your salvation, obeying God with deep reverence and fear, for God is working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him. Have you ever felt like God has given you the direction and the desire to do something and then got discouraged because you saw no results? About a week ago, I invited one of my friends that I really feel like the Lord was telling me to invite to Uproar. And as the three days went by, she came to almost all the services, but I was watching her and I really started to get discouraged because she didn't have this huge encounter of God that I was expecting. So on my way home, I was driving her back to her house and I was really discouraged and I really thought, ugh, my obedience to the Lord was for nothing. It was meaningless. But then she began to talk to me and tell me about the experience that she had over that weekend. She began to tell me how the Lord had given her peace and given her just a desire to forgive a family member that she had held something against for a long time. And as she began to talk, I could just see the change in her. I could see how she was different. And she told me that after that weekend, she had experienced God in the most powerful way like she had never experienced before. And she truly wanted to go to church for Jesus and not just for friends. And when I left that car, when she left that car and I was driving home, I thought to my, I was mad at myself because I doubted that my obedience to the Lord meant anything. Obeying God is never going to result in nothing. The Lord will give you these desires and direction just to minister to people. And you could walk away and get discouraged because it doesn't turn out the way you want to. But every time you do something for the Lord, it's always going to prosper. Isaiah 55, 11 says, it is the same with my word. I send it out and it always produces fruit. It will always accomplish all I want it to and it will prosper everywhere you send it. It says in the Bible that God is the word. So anything that he tells us to do, anything that we speak from God is the word. So it will prosper. You're planting a seed when you listen to the call. Whether the Lord tells you to minister to someone, to pray for someone, or to even spread the love of Jesus to someone, and they don't respond how you think, you're going to have impact because God sent you there for a reason. And it's almost disrespectful to doubt the Lord's works. It's disrespectful to doubt um, what God's telling you to do and think it has no impact because God's not just gonna send you somewhere, tell you to pray for someone for no reason. So next time the Lord tells you to do something, even if it doesn't turn out the way you want to, God sent you for a reason, so it'll always prosper. Thank you.